Hello Warriors, I'm Marcelo and you're watching Mr. War Games. So today's video is about the Fortress Battle. And the strategy for this battle is quite simple. But before I tell you how simple it is, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and activate all notifications so YouTube can tell you when I release new videos. And like many other events, this is a long one. Uh, the battle lasts at least 30 minutes, so be sure to have the spare time to play this battle without interruptions. Okay, like I said, like I promised, the strategy for this battle is quite simple. And the goals for this one are quite simple as well. All your alliance has to do is to occupy the fortress and defend it for about 30 minutes. Oh, quit stalling and tell me the strategy for this one already. I bet that went through your head, right? Okay, okay, so I'll tell you how to do this. Once the battle begins, or not, if you choose to let your enemy occupy it first so you can evict him, have the two or the three members of your alliance with the biggest rally cap to rally this fortress. An important detail here is that these rallies must hit at the same time. Well, they don't need to be in the exact same second, but as close as they hit, it's better and raises your chances to take the fortress from an enemy that's occupying it. And if you watched my other videos, you know I won't keep you in here for 30 minutes. I'll just cut to the highlights, give you some hints, give you some tips to do well in this battle and earn great rewards. So, like you can see in here, the first thing you want to do after one of your allies occupies the fortress is to make sure your alliance won't lose control over the structure because otherwise the timer will just reset meaning the enemy took the fortress from you and you'll have to evict him so uh, make sure to reinforce with all you've got and especially for you who stayed this long I'll give you the bonus hint like I always do this is quite a nice trick and it's of the utmost importance in a few moments you will see that we rallied this fortress, lost the battle, and now all my troops are injured. And that's when the new trick comes in. Uh, you will realize that I have a lot of speed ups, but I'm saving them for another event, the foundry event, where you can't use this trick. You'll notice that I don't fully heal my troops. I just put my troops to heal in 20 or 30 minutes batches. It just depends on how many people are online during the battle. And that's because the Alliance help will insta heal your troops and you won't spend any of your precious and hard earned healing speed ups. Okay, so here's me doing it again. You will see insta heal in 30 minutes batches. And now to the last important thing I want to talk to you about today. And that is once your ally occupies the stronghold, Keep sending reinforcements throughout the whole battle, so you make sure you won't leave, you won't lose that structure, because if you do, like I said earlier, the timer will reset, you will have to take it again, the timer will reset again, and this battle can last for one hour and a half, two hours, like I've seen once. And like you might have already figured out, we lost this battle, so we just decided to end home, heal our wounded and get better for next time. But oh well, that's life, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. And that's it for today, if you have reached this far, thank you for watching, it's very important to me, it supports my work and to support it even more, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and activate all notifications so YouTube can tell you when I release new videos. Okay, stay tuned for more. Later!